One of the hottest dance sequences ever filmed, and trust me, it will give you the vapors, was Elvis Presley's performance in Jailhouse Rock, which is often cited as his greatest moment on screen. While the film cemented Elvis's leading man status, it was marred by tragedy before it even hit the theaters. Just three weeks after filming wrapped, Elvis's leading lady, Judy Tyler, tragically died in a horrific car accident. Born Judith May Hess on October 9, 1932 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Judy Tyler got her first national exposure in 1952 on the Howdy Doody TV show. Judy for president. Hey, hooray! She's America. Shortly after her marriage to TV actor George Lafayette in March 1957, the couple relocated to Hollywood for what were to be the last four months of Judy Tyler's life. Judy was well on her way to stardom from the minute she set foot in Hollywood. She starred in the first Perry Mason TV episode to be filmed and landed a role in her first feature film. Roving Gal. Soon after, the raven-haired beauty landed a breakout part as Elvis Presley's love interest in Jailhouse Rock. I need tactics, honey. It's just a beast in me. The movie was filmed from May 13th to June 14th, 1957. Judy's extreme beauty, combined with Elvis's sultry good looks, naturally made the world wonder whether the couple were romantic offset as well as on. However, although Elvis adored his co-star, it is generally considered that there was no romantic association. Elvis's friend, George Klein, claimed that Elvis did not fool around with her during the movie because she was married even though Elvis did think that she was very nice and very attractive. In June of 1957, Judy and her husband initiated a cross-country drive to New York City. In the early evening of July 3rd, a car suddenly pulled in front of the couple's 1957 Chevrolet on US Highway 30, three miles north of Rock River, Wyoming. Judy's husband swerved into the opposite lane to avoid the car running into an oncoming car in that lane. Judy was killed instantly. Her husband died the next day. Although Judy Tyler was not well known nationally at the time, newspapers across the country printed wire service articles on her death in the days that followed. Some articles claimed that Judy Tyler's body was severed by the impact, while other papers did not provide such gruesome details. When news about the accident reached Elvis, he was devastated. According to Klein, he and Elvis spent the day driving around Memphis, reminiscing about Judy and the tragedy. Later that day, Elvis told a reporter that nothing had hurt him as badly in his life. He was quoted as saying, I remember the last night I saw them. They were leaving on a trip. Even remember what she was wearing. All of us boys really loved that girl. She meant a lot to all of us. I don't believe I can stand the movie we made together now. Just don't believe I can. Judy Tyler's ashes were interred at Ferncliff Cemetery in Hartsdale, New York. While her career was short-lived, she will always be remembered for her small but memorable role. We hope you enjoyed this program, and thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe.